Hmm. This doesn't look suspicious at all. like real human skin? The fuck is this? Oh, sweet. Oh my god, they give you so much shit to read. that one off. Hmm. Oh. Alright. I'm not going to play that very long. Just like playing it whenever I get to one of these. Alright, get out of that. And... The fuck is that? Okay. And there's really not too much else in here. That's a fucking... It's a heat lamp. Heating this stuff up, which for all I know could be human skin. Something creepy. Aw. I'm always waiting to open one of these and there's gonna be like a little child. Up there, some, some kind of creepy shit. It's just pots and pans. Oh, there's a head in here. Nope. There's somebody clearly lives here because the shit's still on. Story, bro. Alright, nothing in here. What about my hacker? My weird hacker mode shit. Nothing? Oh, wait. Maybe. Maybe something over here? Yeah. It's like, no, there's there's nothing special about this place at all. Nothing special about this weirdo. Weirdo place. Except maybe in here. Yeah, no big deal. There's just blood everywhere. It's fucking weird that my little gadgets aren't picking anything up. It's like, nope, nothing strange happening here. Just continue to move along. Everybody's door is locked. Oh, that's a fucking safe. Insane. Mm -hmm. I like how it is translating things. 
if you like look at the posters and shit on the walls. Clearly not the layout or where these people are. I mean, it has been a few days since I've played this, and I completely forgot the apartment numbers that I'm supposed to be going to. Need to get out. Is that me, or is that... It's not me humming, is it? I, I think that's the person in the room doing that. Well, I can't go up any higher. Oh yeah, I can. Jesus Christ. This is as high as I can get. It's locked. <laughs> All these rooms are fucking locked. Except for this one. See if we can hack it. Oh yeah. Now just... Oh man. That is unexpected. I did not expect to fucking open the door and see a bunch of creepy fucking dolls all over the place. What is all this shit? Hey lady, you got no face, do, don't you? You don't have a face, do you? Oh, no, you have a face. I'm expecting all of this scary, spooky shit to happen. I don't think anything like that's gonna happen. Like, this is kinda cool. But, uh, yeah. She's just chilling. Hanging out, having a good time. Yeah, nothing, nothing weird about this place. Move on. Let me go into my little task thing. Okay, so I gotta go to the tattoo parlor that's all the way down in the street. I have to get to the Nowak apartment, which I can't remember which apartment number that is. Okay, apparently I can't do anything about that. Nosy neighbors? I can't do anything about that yet. I can't seem to... <laughs> oh wow, there's something weird about this menu system. Okay, so interrogate the neighbors. The nearby tenants might give some additional intel. I've already gone through and like spoken to everybody that I can, like that will respond to me buzzing them on their little door thing. And so far, it's just been a bunch of BS. Hey, PD, can we talk? Ugh. Um, we'll go with that one. <clears throat> that sounds like a bad ending. I apologize, not fully in control, yet. Reflex action. Involuntary response to a stimulus. Textbook definition, ain't it? Hmm. Understands why you think that in your condition. My condition? Correct. You still have a long way to go. Don't we all? Probably. I am more advanced. Flawed. I don't even know how far along in this game I am. Nearing completion. How completely complete are you? 
78%. What happens if you hit wow. one hundred? A big bang? I will be cleansed. Of what? Cleansed of body, purged of flesh, of excess thoughts. If there's nothing left to clean, aren't you a little afraid there'll be nothing? Period? No. Fear is irrational. Change is inevitable. It is more logical to embrace it. Fear is not going anywhere. Why would it? It's based on what people think they've got to lose. Yes. I was afraid once. I was 16. No, I was weren't we all? Staring at my hand. I saw the irregularities, the germs, disgusting little creatures wriggling in the meat. He took some good took LSD. Break, and I started hitting. Or maybe some bad the LSD. First. Then the pain turned into blissful dullness. My family thought it was an accident. I didn't correct them. I knew they wouldn't understand. When they installed my new appendage, it was like being born anew. It was slick. You know, I really hope this is gonna go somewhere. Perfect. Mods don't come cheap. Unless you get them installed in a local fucking ripper clinic. Your logic is sound. But I will not share that information with you. Suit yourself. Oh, and just be aware, the lockdown might be the phage. Of course, I know you're way beyond caring. The disease of transition? No, unacceptable. I am not ready yet. Guess you should have thought about that before you stuffed yourself with mods. Your interrogation tactics are primitive. You call yourself an observer. Yet you fail to observe the basic fallacy in your thinking. What might that be? Oh my god, I the really hope this is going somewhere. Really be the cure. Spare me the phage fucking double talk. Think about it. It targets flesh, not steel. The Nanites never meant to destroy. They meant to release us from this evolutionary setback. We were not ready. I've seen what it does firsthand. Nobody is ready for that. Nobody. If the plague is truly upon us, we will soon find out. Oh. It was all for nothing. Except finding out about his mods that he'd got in some back alley place. That's kind of unfortunate. Can I get in here? Oh, I can. Oh, well, it's just the bathroom. <laughs> can't get into there. Alright, I'm gonna go down to the, uh... Tattoo parlor. Since that's one place that my uh, task thing mentions. Specifically mentions. Just gotta remember how to get the fuck out of here. Oh god. Oh well, that's the first. Okay, so that's the first one I went into. Hi, this is Tom. And Irene. <laughs> oh God. We hope you're having a positively peachy day. Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to get out of here. Yeah, that's not the way out. There we go. There's the tattoo parlor that I need to go to. That's kind of cool. Let 
All right, enough of that. Where's uh? What was that? Oh boy. My timing is really off today. <laughs> Poor Hannah. Timing is off. Six five six two one zero. We have a third victim. Time of death about an hour ago. Starting forensic analysis. Multiple puncture wounds, a few inches deep. Is that more hair? Yeah. What's with the strange hair? What do you mean, what's with it? Investigate the crime scene. So I need to interrogate the dead. Figure out how to do that again. Oh, wait, there's something else that I missed. The Vic is one Helena Novak. Wife of the previous victim, Amir Novak. The victim's blood is mixed with ink. Elevated hormone levels. Oh, fuck. Don't tell me you. Did she meld with one of the fucking machines or some shit? What happened? You, but I can't really remember how to. Mm. Do I need my meds? Synchrosine <laughs> injected. Strain level decreased. What the fuck? Hollow injector? and shape of the needle are consistent with the puncture wound. Alright. Good detecting skills by me so far. What else can I pick up? 